If it feels like ticket prices are more expensive than ever, it's because they are. The Wall Street Journal and SeatGeek report the average price of a concert ticket doubled in the past five years, from $125 in 2019 to $252 in 2023, partly to blame high fees, resellers, and price gouging. So what's being done to keep prices from soaring even higher? Here's News 2's Adam Mincer. It's been a year of headaches for concert goers in Music City. 11 hours in the Ticketmaster queue. I'm never going to forgive them for that. And lawmakers unbelievable have noticed. Well, if you want to see some music fans in Music City get upset, what you need to do is just look at what happens when they are going to buy a ticket for a concert or a symphony performance. To make the process less chaotic for fans. This is a joke. Senator Blackburn and a bipartisan group of five other senators introduced the Fans First Act earlier this month. To protect our artists and our performers and to bring transparency to the process and to get rid of bad actors, we have this new legislation. If passed, the legislation would require sellers to show the total ticket cost with all fees to buyers up front. It would also require them to show the section and seat of the ticket and require them to disclose if they're the original seller or reselling. It would also include full refunds for canceled events and strengthen existing laws preventing bots from buying tickets. A measure Blackburn hopes will stop price gouging like Taylor Swift and Beyonce fans experienced earlier this year. I understand people are going to mark it up because they're trying to make money or whatever, but this was... This is wild. Now Blackburn hopes if this bill passes, concert chaos like we saw this year will be a thing of the past. This bill would also create a website for fans to file complaints about ticket sales practices to the FTC. It's great news for fans. What's the reaction been from companies like Live Nation about this proposal? Live Nation, which also owns Ticketmaster, actually came out in support of this legislation, saying that there's a lot of parts of this bill that they want to see done. It's been chaos out there. The past year has been a <laughs> Thanks, Adam.